Hi, this is Dr. Ladeb. I'm just um, up here again trying to uh, guide you through producing a database app using PySimple GUI. Uh, and uh, you just follow, first of all, you want to import the module, which is known as PySimple GUI. It would spell that for you as SG. And then uh, you can create a layout and uh, which will then contain some things within that layout and um, go on to create a window uh, which will actually show as SG window not that the uh, uppercase the first window is lowercase and the second window putting SG there uh, is important and then uh, you put a title to this window as a database app for example and then you import layout uh, and which will show there and uh, there's something known as while loop which is actually an important component that uh, you have to Im uh, create in other that the values and events which you will actually put within the app itself will show so you're saying while the window is active you should be able to read the contents of the window and then you close it window uh, close that with that close marks but in between you want to be able to say if the event uh, is closed by yourself uh, there is a particular scenario there then you break in other words if you don't create that part it will not stop okay at this point let's see what shows by running what you have there and you run in the python window and you can see that there is something here now this is really very small and it's undetectable because we have not put anything within the layout so I'll close that and you will go to the layout and start populating it okay just note that those are two squares uh, in order to make it easier understanding I will take out one of the squares up close that and then so the bigger square is for the layout and then the first square there we can start putting things here now T is actually to capture text okay and you can then put either single quotes or double quotes and you can put registration of whatever if it's students or patients or something like that it can be a form uh, registration form let me put it form for whatever whatever you want to do and we can comma to add more things every time you want to create a new line you actually put an SG text uh, let's first of all you want to put a name within and let's see how it looks like at this point for the sake of demonstrating how the window will show you can see that it's actually coming up already showing registration form for a name there good we'll make it a little bit more beautiful and presentable by adding 
a few entries. So within the, the name, you want to put a comma there and you put an input, which is I, that allows the person to put things within there. In order to capture the importance uh, and the component the information there, you put a key. And let's use the key, which we will use to be able to grab the information there as name. Again, let's show how it looks just to, to understand what will come out. You can see that it gives you a space here. And this we can make bigger at some point. Right, at this point, I will add a few more things. Uh, by copying this and I will sorry let me just copy it again command C if you're on a Mac or control C if you're on a Windows and so the next will be deck of path So for the key here, let's put DOB and here uh, gender and within here you will put in capital just to separate the key from the other texts and then you put address, sorry, I uh, put and then here capital address and then phone number or emergency contact and here for here we'll put phone as the key uh, right so you see uh, well, let's demonstrate what we have shown so far here to see what, how it looks like and you can see what it looks like it contains information about name date of birth gender address emergency contact now after putting things you want some buttons to act on them when you put the information eg something like that you want to press a button so that it can be sent to the back end uh, but so let's make a room for buttons remember you put the square brackets and you put sorry again lowercase sg button and you put in here the button that will submit whatever information put comma Let's put a button again to clear should we change our mind about what we're entering and not and want to start a new thing and then you put another button that will help you exit if you don't want to exit via closing windows all right so here i'll show you how the app looks like at this point and there it is you can see the buttons are showing at this point if you act on the buttons they wouldn't do anything at the moment so let's make one to work for example you want to exit by touching this button and um, so here you you will add uh, a sentence just a few lines of code here you say if event is e equal to window close or exit and then you put in quotes exactly as you've written it over here uh, then you want to break okay so let's try that now and see how it works okay see the code here exit brilliant gone start again over here and you exit right so this is it for the first court and it's 
The next one we will be able to demonstrate how we put a color and or increase the font so that this can be more can be readable and also customize this button so that they are arranged very clearly for visual appreciation and uh, we will continue this right through until this app is able to be functional thank you very much for watching and i hope to welcome you on the next uh, episode soon bye bye